So let's finalize this by simply saying, well, look, instead of ju doing just one animate, how about this? How about um, uh, how about we create uh, like a private uh, final, um, and we can make this static, right? Static. Pri I usually go this way. Private static final uh, int. Uh, timeout, right? So uh, essentially, um, something like um, animation uh, timeout, because I want to do these updates at a certain interval, right? So animation timeout, uh, which will be uh, the timeout, uh, which will be the period of time for which. I want my background thread to simply go to sleep and don't do anything. Uh, it uh, I will be thinking, of, you know, in terms of seconds, right? So, uh, but the, the timeout is milliseconds, so one thousand will be basically uh, representing one second, something like that, right? So animation timeout, timeout, out. Uh, and I can even say MS for milliseconds. Why not? Just to remind myself that this is uh, the the unit of measurement is millisecond. Okay, and uh, so uh, in some sort of an uh, in some sort of a loop. For now, I will just hard code it to uh, integer uh, uh, count. Right uh, equals uh, from going from zero to uh, just terrible hard, hard coding, but something like uh, 24 cycles, I guess, right? And plus plus count, just simply uh, do this. Uh, 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 do this uh, instead of doing it once. We have the whole thread of execution which is running, right? And I think we need to say thread. Uh, sleep, uh, sleep, right? And uh, it will take our. Uh, uh, apparently, this needs to be long, right? So we can just say go to sleep for uh, for this period of time, right? So so sleep for one second and then make an update, right? And we can even reduce this to like half a second, 500 milliseconds. How about that? Half a second. So something like that. Uh, now, um, this um, uh, sleep method of of the thread uh, require uh, it can throw an exception, right? So if I build, so that's why it needs to be wrapped in the except in the exception. So we can just say try try this. It may be inter it may get an interrupted in exception. So there's this little try and you know we need to be able to catch the the interruption uh, exception. Uh, so let's go uh, find out what that exception is. Right. So we just jump to uh, uh, Google quickly. Right. And we'll uh, just Google uh, uh, thread sleep Java, something like this. Pausing execution with sleep. Okay. Pausing execution uh, with with sleep. Uh, we we need uh, to be able to catch this interrupted exception. Right. So uh, something like that. Uh, catch interrupted exception ex, uh, and uh, that would simply, you know, we can just say return. Uh, this is it for us, right? But if it's not, uh, if if we if everything goes well, we just go to a timeout, and we're gonna sleep for like half a second, and when we're gonna wake up and call the animate. So this time, animate will be called like. 24 times instead of just once, hopefully, right? So if we run this, and now if we say move, right? So now it's just basically cycles and uh, runs the background thread, which goes to sleep every half a second, and then after some 24 uh, cycles, uh, it stops, right? So right there, it stops. 
so that's uh, pretty much the um, uh, the demo for the animated version of uh, you know some kind of uh, simulation of elevator movements uh, today. So let's. Um, uh, pretty much that's the demo for today and uh, I will post uh, all of the code and I will also post the zip uh, version of the project so you can just download and, and essentially examine it uh, on your own machine and so now we, I, I think that we're gonna go now through some question and answer session right so we can uh, we can answer some questions and discuss uh, everything uh, that we have so far